Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you? This is Freddie Ewan, two-time GM of the year, a Pantheon Cup champion, fantasy football guide, and host of this fantasy football show, that fantasy football show with Freddie Ewan. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. We're trying to pump things up here. It, we got a football game already. We got another game already tonight. It's going to be a good one, too. Miami Dolphins, Buffalo Bills. Um, a lot going on in that game. Um, Mozart is out. Uh, a chain is a game time decision. So, you know, all over the waiver wire, we've seen those backup running backs on Miami Wilson uh, being picked up and, you know, whether they're going to put them in or not, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be, uh, you know, we're going to see what happens. It's going to be an interesting game. I know that, uh, you know, if you do have to it, uh, Dolphins are going to have to rely on Tua a lot more tonight than uh, than usual with those two backs. Uh, you know, one definitely out and one on the way getting out. Uh, we got a ton of data that we're going to crunch right now. Um, this is a bunch of uh, data from last week. And uh, we're just going to jump right in and get into it. Start going over all the data on the carries, target percentage, et cetera, et cetera. And try to get an idea a little bit, you know, crunch the data and try to figure out, you know, where, where these teams are going with these players and whatnot and how we can exploit it in fantasy football. That is what all it is about. So right here is uh, the first page up I got. You know, this is the carries from uh, last week. As you can see, uh, we do have some interesting things that are going on in the work. You know, Bijan Robinson uh, sticks out, you know, last year with uh, Arthur Smith running that offense it was pretty much uh you know everyone was upset that robinson was not getting the rocking up his rookie year well it looks like Bijan is going to be the bell cow now algier only had three carries um Bijan gets 23 uh trey benson in in arizona i you know trey's a rookie i know they're gonna work him in slowly connor looked really good he had 20 carries uh derrick henry and justice hill this was interesting Hill got nine carries. Henry got 15. I think game script had a lot to do with that as Baltimore was behind most of that game. I think maybe all of that game. Um, you know, the other thing on this is Justin hit just Hill. I think he had, I think he had seven or eight targets and, and six catches or something like that. So, you know, you know, Baltimore should be ahead in most of these games but when they're behind, you're going to see a lot more justice Hill than you are Henry. Um, you know, kind of puts a disadvantage. I know people paid up. I, pay, I saw people paying a lot of money and, you know, drafting Henry really early. Um, you know, going on to Baltimore, I, I don't know if that was a, you know, Baltimore has a great running game, but I, I don't know if that was just such a good idea about his age. I thought there were other values to get besides Henry. And, and you can see that he's really going to be a game script oriented guy when they're up and they're going to be up a lot. You know, Henry's going to get the rock a lot, but when they're behind, you know, Hen Henry's not a guy who catches passes out of the backfield. He's not that great of a, um, of a fantasy player when it comes to PPR or half PPR format. So um, it's going to be interesting what happens in uh, Baltimore as we go. James Cook. Still looks like the man in Buffalo. He had 22 carries. Ray Davis, the rookie, they're working him on a little bit. He had four carries. Um, down here in Dallas, I still don't know what to do. I dropped Dowell in a couple places just uh, because I had other places. But Zeke had 12 carries. Dow had, or Dow had nine carries. Uh, this guy, Hunter Lepuku, I never even heard of, has uh, had two carries. So this is going to be – Dallas is going to be fun to watch to see where this goes throughout, you know, with their running game and, you know, even the – to see if they sign or they trade for a running back. I know they got uh, Dalvin Cook, but he did not see any playing time, I don't believe. Um, Denver, uh, Javante Williams, uh, only 10 carries. Juan McLaughlin has 15 carries. Um, I got Javante Williams in a couple of leagues and, you know, getting a little bit worried about him right now, to be quite honest with you. Um, Montgomery and Gibbs, we knew that was going to be about half and half. Uh, Josh Jacobs had 19 carries. Uh, Emmanuel Wilson, seven carries. So, you know, this is, uh, this is another thing to watch, you know, really watch these guys, these guys that aren't rookies that are having, you know, six or seven carries after the, after the first guy to see where, where, where they are going with this. Um, Carolina can't even talk about Carolina right now. I mean, you know, Miles Sanders, Chuba Hubbard, you know, seven carries, six carries, um, you know, Chicago didn't play that great of a game. Uh, Swift got two carries. I don't think you have to worry about these two guys either. Uh, interesting in Cincinnati, everyone thought Chase Brown was going to be the man. Uh, six carries for Brown. Zach Moss had 13. 
Uh, something I really liked right here in Cleveland because I got four and on a couple teams is Ford carried the ball 19 times. It looks like he's going to be the bell cow. We're going to see what happens when Chubb comes back. But uh, Ford is the bell cow right now. This is another guy I really liked. And, and this is the reason why, you know, Joe Mixon, 33 carries. You get a guy carrying the ball 30 times a game. I don't I don't care. I, I don't care if he's a, you know, great player or a bad player. He's going to put fantasy points up on the board. Uh, John Taylor, 16 carries here. Um, Colts didn't hand the ball off to anybody else. Jacksonville, very interesting what's going on in Jacksonville. ETN was a little rough on um, on Sunday, and Tank Bigsby played really good. You know, that is a lot closer than ETN owners want to see. Uh, Pacheco, nothing to worry about. He's in the second year, 18 carries. I think that looks really good for Pacheco. Let me uh, bring up these other – this next one here. If you just give me one second. These are the second round of carries. Uh, Kenneth Walker played really good. Uh, I, he's banged up. Charbonnet got 11 carries, which is a lot. This is another one I would be worried about if you're a Rashad White owner in Tampa Bay. 21 carries for Rashad. But Bucky Irvin, rookie, looked really good. 12 carries for him. Uh, Pollard had 20 carries. Spears had eight carries. We thought they were going to be in a little bit of a timeshare. It's looking like it's Pollard's job to lose now. Uh, thought that I knew that this, this team wasn't going to be in a timeshare. I think Brian Robinson is far better than Eckler. I don't even know why Washington signed Eckler, but Brian Robinson is going to be the man there. I think that Eckler is going to phase out a little bit. Uh, Minnesota, very interesting. Aaron Jones had 16 carries, but Ty Chandler also had 11 carries. Ty Chandler was a guy that I really liked. Miles Gaskin also had a lot of carries. They played the Giants. They were up the whole time, so they got a lot of running in. Um, but Chandler's a guy that I really like. Uh, New England, Ramondi Stevenson, this is another guy that I liked a lot, 28 carries, Gibson got seven carries, and you know, out of the backfield, everyone thought Gibson was going to be the one getting the rock in um, in um, passes, I think Stevenson and Gibson actually had the equal amount of targets and passes as well, uh, Kamara, 20 carries, Jamal Williams, both vets here, I, you know, I, I, I don't think you can go wrong with Williams as, um, as a handcuff, um, for Kamara right now, I would definitely have seen him available in a lot of draft in a lot of free agents. I would take Williams and keep him as a handcuff to Kamara because that can change anytime. Uh, Singletary, I'd be a little bit worried about for Singletary owners. These two guys, uh, Tracy and Gray, are right behind him. Uh, Brees Hall, no problem. Brees Hall's going to get the rock. Braylon Allen is a rookie, but I don't think there's anything to worry about for Hall right now. Saquon Barkley's going to be carrying that ball all the time. Uh, Eagles used to, you know, use a lot of different running backs. Gainwell only had uh two carries Barkley's gonna get the rock a lot um this was a little bit disappointing for Jalen Warren owners as you saw Najee Harris carried the ball 22 times uh Cordell Patterson carried it the same amount of times as Jalen Warren so you'd be a little worried if you're Jalen Warren owner right now uh Jorah Mason bam what a game by him I mean you know who needs CMC with, with, with the way this guy played 29 carries for him CMC's gonna be back obviously though I was just kidding about that uh Zamir White 15 carries Alexander Madison, 11 carries. Everyone was high on white. Um, but Madison played well. I really liked Madison when he was at Minnesota. He backed up Dalvin Cook and uh, came in a few games where Cook was injured, played really well. Um, you know, I think this is something to monitor as well. Uh, this is an R1 to monitor. Harbaugh loves to run the ball. Uh, Dobbins had a phenomenal game. Only touched the rock 13 times, though. Um, I picked him up as a free agent in a couple leagues. Um, but, you know, I do not think that Dobbins is going to be the A1, you know, A, you know, bell cow there. You know, Edwards is going to get his touches as well. Um, Kyron Williams, 21, 21 uh, carries. I don't think there's anything to worry about him as long as he's not injured. He's going to be safe as the bell cow. A chain, 17 carries. He had I think I'm linked like 40 yards or something. Mozart, nine carries. Both of them are hurt tonight, as we said before. Um, you know, assuming they're 100% healthy, I think uh, a chain is going to get bigger and bigger carries, more of the load. Why Mozart is going to go down and down, get less of the load. Um, let's go ahead and bring up the targets for the wide receivers and tight ends in week one. This is a lot of data to share. We're going to bring up the Cardinals first. Very surprising. Marvin Harrison, only three targets. That should change. Dorch has eight targets, though. This is a guy to pick up. He's on the waiver wire a lot. Trey McBride, nothing to worry about. I know he didn't put up a lot of points, but the guy got nine targets. That's going to continue. Very interesting what went on in Atlanta, too. Ray Ray McLeod, he is 
open all over the place on uh, the waiver wire. Uh, guy had seven targets, Mooney three targets, Pitts only three targets. Um, this is something really to monitor to see if McLeod gets um, gets gets going. Um, and you know their their alpha male, their their alpha back, who was you know receiver isn't even on here. Um, Baltimore, I'm sure this will change too. Likely 12 targets had a you know amazing game. Zay Flowers had 10 targets. Um, Bateman five targets. Um, this is probably going to change. Is I think Zay Flowers is going to get a lot more targets. Uh, Mark Andrews should get in there too. Don't don't give up Mark Andrews owners. Uh, interesting here at Buffalo. Really going to monitor this tonight. I got both of these two guys in a league on the same team. Keon Coleman. Five carries, Shakira, three carries. I'm starting one of these guys tonight. I don't know which one. Shakira is a good matchup in the um, – Shakira is a really good matchup. Coleman, not that good of a matchup. But, you know, both of these guys, um, it's going to be interesting to see what's in Buffalo. If someone's had, if someone has to get Diggs' targets, it's going to be one of these two. Dallas, no surprise here. C.D. Lamb, 10 targets. Cook, seven. Ferguson, five. Uh, really not that much of a surprise in uh, Denver. Uh, Sutland's going to get uh, – you know, 12 targets, Reynolds, eight. Vele is a guy to watch, too. Uh, young guy, eight targets. That's pretty nice. Um, interesting what's going on in uh, Detroit. I really like this guy, Jamison Williams. Injury, as long as he stays away from injury, the guy can break big yards. Um, I did not draft a lot of LeBron or Laporta because I was worried about Jamison Williams. And from that game, it looks like I was right. Nine targets for Williams. Uh, Green Bay, this is probably going to be the way Green Bay, with love or without love, they're going to split it up amongst these three guys. Downs, Reeds, and Watson are all going to get probably about the same amount of, of um of targets interesting what's going on in carolina this is a guy i really like i know he's he's around in free agents carolina is awful but xavier leggett seven targets that's something really good this was really interesting keenan allen 11 targets keenan allen gets open i mean keenan allen i don't care how old he is this guy gets open i know he's a little banged up right now but you know 11 targets that's why they brought him over to chicago you know they got the rookie quarterback they want you know they want receivers that know how to get open and keenan allen knows how to get open dj more eight targets a dunze um four targets that that i think is going to get bigger as the year goes on um same thing here, you know, uh, with the Bengals, Chase, only six targets. T. Higgins was out. I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name, but it is a so this, it's long, but T. Higgins out. This is a guy, good guy to have over the waiver wire. Um, Cleveland was awful, but, you know, Amari Cooper, nine targets. Jerry Judy, eight targets, which is really interesting. Judy scored a touchdown, too. And this is going to be the same way it's going to be with the Texans, you know, and this is why I kind of stayed away from all three of these receivers. But here, you know, Collins, eight. Dell seven, six digs. They're going to be a little bit all over the, you know, th these guys are going to have probably about the same amount of targets every week. I would think uh, Colts, Michael Pittman, eight targets. Pittman did not have a great game. Do not give up on Pittman. They're going to throw him the ball a lot and often in Indianapolis, Adonna Mitchell guy. I really like, um, you know, people are picking up Alec Pierce, but uh, Alec Pierce broke, you know, only had three targets. He broke a big one, uh, which, which put some points on the floor, but you know, Mitchell is a guy that's on waivers right now. I see a lot. He's a guy to pick up potentially rookie. He's just going to get better as it goes on. Interesting. What's going on in Jacksonville. I got Kirk and Thomas both on uh, one of the same fantasy teams, four targets and four targets. Um, I'm leaning more on Thomas because he's a, a little bit of a bigger guy, uh, rookie. He's going to get more targets as it goes. First round pick, um, probably get more red zone targets. Uh, Abram, you know, I, I'm seeing him as like a second tight end on a lot of teams where he's like a bench tight end. Um, I think Ingram's going to, you know, maybe not have the great year he had last year, but it's going to, you know, that'll be the same you know, he, he should do well, um, you know, but interesting what's going on in Jacksonville. That's a situation to monitor target wise, uh, Kansas city, no surprise here Rasheed rice, uh, nine targets that should continue guy is, uh, you know, I mean, guys, a beast, uh, Travis Kelsey, four targets, Noah gray, three targets. So this is interesting. Um, two tight ends, you know, gray is playing a lot more in um snap shares and etc kelsey i was a little worried on this year and you can see you know four targets the first game will that change he should get more targets but um you know having gray right behind him you know that that that's a telling sign right there for kansas city right now um and let me bring up the week one b targets for the other teams brock bowers 
eight targets. Do not have a great game, but eight targets for Brock Bowers. I love Brock Bowers. If you have Brock Bowers as your tight end, you know, he, I, I mean, I, I would start him every week. Um, Devontae Adams, I, that's about right. I, I don't think Devontae is going to be that that much of a stud. He's a little bit older and, uh, you know, got Gardner Mission throwing the ball. You know, I think Bowers is going to find a lot. Uh, this is, came at no surprise either. Uh, Chargers got rid of all their receivers. Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, gone, drafted by McConkey. Uh, McConkey's going to get targets. This should just improve. I could see McConkey turning into this next guy, uh, Cooper Cup, 21 targets with Puka out. If you are a Cooper Cup owner, you are in really good shape. Now, this was a shootout. They played um, Detroit, so there was going to be a lot of scoring. Both of these guys I like, too. I think I like Tyler Johnson a little bit more than I like Demarcus Robertson because Johnson has a lot of speed. Um, but, yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with, uh, you know, two of these guys as a flex. But if you have Cooper Cup, if you're a Cooper Cup owner, you are very happy right now. Uh, Miami, you know, no surprise here. Try Reek Hill, 12 targets. He's still got, got a lot of targets. I would be a little worried about Waddle right now. Uh, Waddle, only five targets. Targets. I think he should get more targets tonight um, just because they're a little iffy on their running game. But, um, you know, this is why I always stay away from Waddle because it's just scary getting a, you know, a top receiver who's the second best on his team. Uh, Jets, really no surprise. Garrett Wilson, 11 targets. Lazard, you know, put up a lot of points. I see people picking him up and, and Lazard is a fine player. Um, you know, he was really good on Green Bay. Um, I, I, I don't know if he'll keep that rate up of nine targets. I know a lot of that was in garbage time too. Uh, Eagles, no surprise here. AJ Brown, 10 targets, Devonte Smith, eight targets, Dallas Goddard, five targets. You're going to see AJ and Devonte get about the same amount of targets, especially with Devonte coming out of the slot. Uh, really no surprise here with, uh, Pittsburgh, George Pickens is going to get a lot of targets here. Uh, Firemack is four targets. They, you know, and they're, they're really beat up on, on receiver. So I just think they're going to keep throwing the ball to Pickens over and over again. Uh, San Francisco, really no surprise either. Uh, Debo Samuel, George Kill, Jawan Jennings is free on a lot of waiver wires. And, you know, I think Jennings is, you know, A had just got, you know, there was just got signed. They didn't play him a lot. They said they didn't play him, wasn't going to play him a lot. But, you know, Jennings had a good Super Bowl. And, you know, it's, I, I, I think, you know, as, as a deep sleeper, Jennings is a good guy to have um, if you need to throw someone in and they have a good matchup. Um, Minnesota, Sam Darnold looked good. I thought Sam Darnold looked good. But if you look here, uh, Justin Jefferson, six car and Addison's out. Jefferson's targets should get bigger. New England, I don't know. It's going on here you know kj osborne's get six targets uh if you have a tight end in new england they're probably gonna get the ball a little bit as you see with hooper and henry um <coughs> new orleans rich shaheed uh caught a couple long bombs she threw the two tight ends same thing four and three i mean i think you can kind of put the saints offense kind of with like what new england is like a little bit um you know, I Alave did not get. I think he got two targets or something. So it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. You know, there's a couple guys that need to get the ball a little more, like Alave. Um, you know, Shahid is not a bad player either. New York Giants, very interesting. The New York Giants are awful. Don't get me wrong. New York Giants are awful. But can you find some fantasy value with these guys? Wendell Robinson is available in almost every league I've seen. The guy got 12 targets. I mean, the guy got as many targets as Tyreek Hill last week. Uh, Giants were behind. They're going to throw the ball a lot. I don't think um, this is a bad guy to grab right now at all. Malik Neighbors is another guy that I really like. He got seven targets in his first game as a rookie. Those targets are going to keep going up. I think, I think you're going to see Neighbors have, you know, be, you know, anywhere from, you know, top 10 in targets this year. Injury proof, of course. Uh, Tyler Lockett, surprising, seven targets. Uh, JSN was a no-show. Metcalf only had four targets. He had a tough matchup with Sertain on him all last week. But, you know, very interesting that Lockett is not done. He's a little banged up right now. But uh, I have JSN in a couple leagues, and I was a little worried seeing Lockett play as good as he did last Sunday. Um, Godwin, eight targets. Evan, six targets. You're going to see this about right. Uh, Got to watch is Jalen McMillan coming, coming around. He's not playing in the slot. Godwin spends – most of the time in the slot, but I think Jelaine McMillan on their rookie can break one big. Um, Tennessee, Calvin Ridley, seven targets. Tyson Boyd, five targets. Nick Bennett, two targets. Um, you know, same thing. I think Ridley's going to get a lot of targets there. Um, Hopkins, I didn't like at all. You know, even before his injury, I didn't like him at all. I, I, I still don't like Hopkins at all. I think that, you know, Tennessee's not going to, you know, 
to throw, you know, Levi's not going to throw 5,000 yards this year, but uh, Ridley's going to be his target a lot. And then uh, down here, the Washington Commodores, Zach Ertz is still playing in the NFL. God bless the man. Zach Ertz on the Washington Commodores, four targets. Uh, Terry McLaurin, they need to get him involved too, four more targets. We've been trying to find out who the second wide receiver is on uh, Washington. This guy has been all around the league. He was on uh, Alame, Zacchaeus. He was on Atlanta. He was on the Eagles at one time. Now he's on Washington. The guy can play. He's a deep, deep sleeper. Um, but, you know, I don't think, uh, you know, I see Ertz available in a lot in a lot of leagues too. I don't think Ertz is that bad of a draft right now, especially the rookies. They throw to the tight ends a lot. Um, let me just bring up the target percentages really quickly. Show that to you. And uh, just go, instead of going over each one, just go over which one sticks out a lot. Ray Ray McLeod, again, 30% target share. That's big. Uh, Keon Coleman getting 22%. You want to find guys, you, you want to get to the point where you are starting guys that have a 25% or more target share. Um, you know, Keenan Allen, 38%. Um, you know, Rasheed Rice, 33%, Michael Pittman, 42%. That's why, you know, everyone is, you know, down on Pittman. Do not get down on Pittman. The guy got passed the ball 42% of the time. Uh, Texans, nothing you expect there. Uh, Jameson Williams, 32%. Um, I'm on 21%. That's a need to go up for Amon owners. This is probably going to be the same way it is. Green Bay is going to split up. CD Lamb, 32%. I would think that would be a little bit higher. Um, you know, but Cook's got the ball a decent amount. Sinar got to watch here. You know, Deontay Johnson, eh, Xavier Leggett, 24%. Available on a lot of wires right now, still. And then just to bring up the um the target percentage here. Cooper Cup, 44%. That's, uh, you know, had the highest target share of everyone. Like I said, if you own Cooper Cup right now, you are one happy person. Tyreek Hill, the alpha, 33%. Waddle, only 14%. That is very, very concerning on Waddle's numbers here. Um, Debo, 31%. Pickens is going to get the ball. That same thing with AJ Brown, 35%. Garrett Wilson, you got to be happy with that 38% number if you're a Garrett Wilson owner. Uh, Calvin Ridley, 26%, uh, Godwin 27, Evans 28. See, Lockett is concerning. You got to be a little concerned if you're a Metcalf. Metcalf has another tough uh, matchup this week. Um, you know, we're only taking this over a one week course. So we'll have better, you know, as the season goes on, we'll get a better idea of, uh, you know, who to put in because we just don't have that data yet. Um, you know, we're still trying to figure out these teams and, and what they're planning on doing. Uh, Wendell Robinson, 32%, KJ Osborne, 26%, Justin Jefferson, 26%. So these are the numbers that you really want to look at too and see who's getting target share. Like I said, first week, uh, still got a lot to learn on who's doing what. Um, anyway, big game tonight. Miami Dolphins, Buffalo Bills. I am going to do a uh, start them or sit them probably tomorrow. Give me an idea of the players I like, the players I don't like. Unfortunately, I got a lot of players on my team that I do not like this week. Uh, a lot of bad matchups I got in place. I'm uh, going to start, uh, you know, I really got to be creative this week with uh, putting these guys in and, uh, you know, throwing a couple dart throws and just uh, hoping for the best in some leagues. But um, anyway. Everyone have a great Thursday. Enjoy the game tonight. Uh, should be exciting. Uh, NFC East, two best teams, I think, in the NFC East. The Jets suck, and, and Aaron Rodgers sucks, too. Everyone have a great day, and uh, go Birds.